Okay, first things first, you wanna get your design from Canva and then upload it into your Silhouette Studio. And so for me, I actually have a 12 by 24 mat for um, Silhouette Cameo. So I'm just gonna go into my mat or my cutting mat settings right here on the side and actually switch that to 12 by 24. Oh, that's so cool. I've never actually used this cutting mat before. But, so what I'm gonna do is rotate this to the side. And I know my mat is 30 inches and I just kind of laid a ruler out to kind of to get an idea of where exactly or how long I wanted my design to be. And I decided I wanted it to be 17, 16, so 15, 16 um, inches long. So I'm just gonna resize my design accordingly. Notice that when you're in Silhouette Studio, on the side you have to change your cutting mat size, but then also your media size to 12 by 24, and then it'll give you the full 12 by 24 space to actually put your design on. Okay, so now that I made sure my settings are correct, I'm just going to make sure that my size is exactly how I want it to be. Um, about five inches tall, and then it would be 16.6 long, that's perfect for me, that works. The mat I'm using is actually from Target. I want to say it was less than $6, somewhere around there, less than $6. Uh, but before you do anything to your mat, make sure that you lint roll it and kind of shake it outside to get those loose particles off of it, because mine had plenty. It shed quite a bit before I um, actually did applied the design. Um, so yes, just make sure you lint roll it or shake it outside to get some of those loose little material off of it. After my design was done cutting, I we did out the design space and then this part was a little bit diff more difficult than I expected it to be. So I ended up actually using scotch tape to tape down the front part of the design and keep it in place while I was trying to pull the paper backing from the actual vinyl. Once I was done with that shenanigans, I smoothed it down just to make sure that, you know, the vinyl was for the most part flat on the mat. And then I continued with more shenanigans because when I did the first peel, of course, those middle pieces and, you know, the middle of the O's and the L's and all of that didn't peel off the paper as expected. So I had to manually kind of just like pick them up with my fingers and place them in the design. But it actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. Then I taped actually about three layers on each side of the design just to make sure it stayed down and actually to protect it a little bit from um, flying like paint because it was kind of windy outside. It didn't do much justice because the wind still got me but <laughs> um, yeah so I just placed like three layers of tape just to make sure the design was fully down and to try, air quotations, try protect um, paint from getting on the side of the design. So I used some Rust-Oleum, uh, just black paint. I'll list the link in the bio, but I just went over and sprayed it. And you can even see like where the black was starting to bleed off, like over the tape on that bottom side. I even tried to use like a folder <laughs> to try and protect the paint or the spray paint from the wind, but it was no match. Like it was just so stinking windy that day. I should have maybe just done it in the hallway or something, but doing it on the balcony. It still worked though, still pretty, but the wind was crazy. I wanna say it was only maybe like 10, 10 minutes that I left it and then I came back and kind of tested it and it was pretty much dry so I started taking off the tape and everything. But it could have been that crazy wind that dried it so quick. But <laughs> yes, yeah, so I just took off all the taping and then I went back and actually took off, you know, the middle of the letters so that part wouldn't be glued to the design or the mat. That's crazy. You can see that little like <laughs> dark uh, rectangle at the top of the screen or top of the video, bottom of the mat, whatever you want to call it, where the paint was starting to like blow from the wind onto the mat. Ugh. But okay, um, after that, I took some clear uh, Rust-Oleum paint. I'll put that in the link or link that in the bio as well. 
and I just sprayed that all over hopefully to give it just some longevity and protection and durability from the craziness that happens in my hallway and then boom you have your lovely masterpiece like comment subscribe and see you guys in the next video bye